Oh, Bella Hadid is naked once again. Fifth Harmony taking shots at Camila. And who is going to have a little country baby or two? I'm gonna tell you right now on Moments of the Week. Yes, yes. Moments of the Week. Moments of the Week. <laughs> Happy Saturday, guys. I'm Heather Gardner. I'm Stephanie Gray. Are you having a good weekend so far? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you who had a great week, Bella Hadid. First of all, she is just slaying everything at New York Fashion Week, and now she's slaying yet another naked photo shoot. <laughs> I'm just, like, I, we talk about this another a lot, she's always naked. naked. Photo shoot. <laughs> and now she is prostituting herself on the streets. I'm just kidding. Yeah, right? That'll be next week's story. Next week. Actually, these photos are very artsy. It's a spread for V Magazine, and she's recreating this classic Calvin Klein ad from Kate Moss back in 1993. Okay. It's very, it's very Ode pretty. to Kate Moss. Black and white. I mean, there's a little nip slip. There's a like little I ass. There's literally, little ass. every model has to do an ode to Kate Moss. And Giselle. That's just like but what everyone, it's like a rite of passage. They are the OGs. Do I know. you blame them? I know, I get it, I get it. I mean, I would like to do, a, you know, a, an ode to those ladies, but nobody wants to see that. So <laughs> we're not, we're not going to do it. We're just going to let Bella do it. So how, is she, is she pretty naked? She, she is so naked. But here's, here's my thing about it. Like, these are pretty photos. She's a model. Like, she's getting naked. But I just feel like she hasn't quite been as naked as much as she has since her breakup. Totally the, agree. The weekend. Totally agree. I mean, I would say it's sort of a desperation thing. Uh -huh. I remember that kind of, really, not kind of, really revealing lace couture, I can't say that word. From Dior. Number from Dior. Mm -hmm. And it was like kind of pastel blue or something where her nips were like, hello. Hello, nips. <laughs> And then I know she did something else, uh, an Instagram post with her butt in it. So it's either a desperate attempt to be like, this is what you're missing the weekend, or mm -hmm. she is sort of blowing up now, right? Like, right. Is, now this, is this her time? So maybe she's trying See? to capitalize on that, and that's why she's all of a sudden being extra sexy and extra revealing. You know what? I may actually agree with you on that, because I thought okay. it was the desperation one, but you're right. Ever since her walking... Let's try to be more positive. Uh, right, right. We're trying not to be as mean, you guys. <laughs> Ever since she walked in the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which is just a great platform for everyone, mm -hmm. I feel like that was her coming out moment because yes. she was always Gigi's little sister, yes. Gigi's little model sister. And now it's like, hi, Bella. You have your, you are your own model. You are yeah. your own person. You are beautiful. BH has arrived. Welcome. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe she's not trying to just make the weekend jealous. jealous. Although... I mean, she probably is, just in doing her I'm sure it's like an added bonus, you know? Oh, The weekend saw that, cool. Even though he's seen it all before, actually. He's seen it all before, so oh, but I'm not a, sure what you're gonna accomplish But here's there. just a little tidbit. There's a difference between getting it on with your man and these beautiful, stunning, like, photos. There's a difference. That was very awkward. Moving <laughs> along. <laughs> Speaking of awkward, Lauren from Fifth Harmony reveals her true feelings about Camila question mark because we're not entirely sure. I have been waiting for this for so long. Really? Like the, the SHIT to hit the fan because Camila left and everyone's been real nicey nice about it. Except very actually, politically correct. Very politically correct. And the band is like, we hope she, you know, does well and we wish her well. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> You do not. <laughs> okay, so here's what Lauren said on Twitter this past week. Fake that confidence, bih. One day, it'll be real. Am I too old to not know what a bih Nah, is? I don't know what a bit. Is it a bit? bit? Don't be such a bit. Bih? Anyway. A B. Don't be such a B. It's, we're not, we don't know the lingo here, but Help fans us. Tell us. who do know the lingo were thinking that this was a complete dig at Camila because she recently had an interview with Seventeen Magazine and she kind of threw a little diss at them. Well, what was the diss? She goes, Fifth Harmony wasn't the maximum expression of me individually. I mean, that's, that's shady. All right, I'm trying to piece this together. <laughs> she's so she's she, thinking very she's hard. Saying, I really am. I'm trying to piece the two uh, disses together. Uh -huh. So Camila said, I couldn't fully express my greatness in the band, is right. what she's saying. Right. So then the band said, oh, keep faking like you're that confident because you're really not. So there, that's how I piece it together. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's what fans were saying. It's a bit of a stretch, even for us. And I think that Lauren caught yeah. on what was happening here because she immediately went back and then tweeted this little gem. Media assuming 
And falsely reporting hatred is so boring. Report the positive sh There's too much negativity in the world. Wait, can I just say? Yeah. She said bit, but then she said <laughs> like five times. I understood like, that one. Are you gonna, the lingo was good. The lingo was good, but like, are you swearing or are we not swearing? Because one, we're trying to be PG, we say bit, and then we say shit all over the place, so just like make up your mind, Lauren. Okay, I have two thoughts on this. One, is she taking tweeting lessons from Donald Trump? Lol. Because media, false, fake news, fake news fake out news. there. <laughs> and then also, who is she talking about then? Because it was clearly a dig at somebody. I maybe it was honestly a dig not at that particular Camila quote, uh -huh. but it's something she heard through the grapevine. Like maybe she heard something and it was something that maybe only Camila would understand when she read it. And it wasn't about that particular Camila statement. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, either way. Like maybe, for example, okay. maybe through the grapevine, someone told someone who told her, oh, Camila has a really big head now. She thinks that she's like that great. She thinks that she's gonna blow up and be the next Britney Spears. And then that's what she was responding to. This is still a stretch. But, but, but what, I'm, what, what I think we know here is that there's a rift between the band and the former band mm -hmm. member. Yeah. For reals. Okay. Do you remember when Spice, I'm sorry, this is a little off topic. <laughs> okay. Do you remember when Spice Girls broke up and Ginger was the one who left? Jerry Holloway, I, Hollowell? I'm just way too young to remember that. I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> but like, was there this much drama surrounding that or is this the kind of thing that only happens now because we have Twitter? But say, there was no Twitter back then, so I don't know. I'm I don't curious. know, but you know what? Twitter and social media and Instagram also has some good things in our lives. Yeah, we're being positive, love yes. it! Yes, Heather, yes! Okay, here's the deal. Thomas Rhett, who is just like the country singer who I just love, yeah. he is so right up cute. Out. I know, gosh, I mean, I just love him <laughs> so much. He used Instagram this week to announce that he and his wife are expecting a baby. And like crying on the inside, even though I'm smiling right now. It's, it's really cute, they are like, so sweet. He writes all of his love songs about her. He, they're high school sweethearts. Now he'll be writing his love songs about the baby. The baby. And but yay, here happy is, family. Here's the funny thing though. So they are pregnant. Yay, congratulations. Yay. But when they made the announcement, they also announced that they're adopting an African baby. So they're gonna have two babies. So they did. Uh, you're, okay. You're, 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 Again, you're, let's try to piece this together. <laughs> so, did she think she couldn't get pregnant? No, I think And then just, she adopted or she wanted to adopt and get pregnant and do both? I'm not sure know. which order it came in, but they actually do a lot of charity work. If you go and follow them on Instagram, both of them are in Africa a lot. So I think mm -hmm. they just probably wanted to. They were inspired. Yeah, they were inspired okay, to adopt a baby and then surprise, then well, we're preggers. also pregnant. And this, this was so cute because we just saw them at the Grammys this past weekend being all lovey-dovey and he was nominated for the song that he wrote for her and I'm like getting chills. It's so sweet and I'm just so happy for them. Okay. <laughs> if I understood country, I'm, I'm sure I'd be right there with you. I'm just really happy for them. They're a really cute couple and I just That's feel good. like Hollywood right now is like, Pregnant. Yeah, popping in the popping. water. <laughs> yes, they are popping up babies. Can we just, okay, is Catherine, Catherine Eagle's not pregnant with twins, but I think she accidentally got pregnant, so there's that, just saying. Babies right. are coming out. Clooney is Clooney. having twins. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Be all. Beyonce is having twins. twins. And then we also have Hannah, De Hannah Jeter and yeah. Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Who Rosie both, Huntington Whiteley. Mm -hmm. They both announced these supermodels are all pregnant. Like, literally. When does, okay, wait, wait, wait. What are they drinking? What, when does this mean it's a popular time to do the deed? If they're popping all the babies out and getting pregnant now, if they're getting pregnant now, that maybe like what, a couple from... months ago? <laughs> when was New Year's Eve? Are these New Year's Eve I, babies? No, we're only in the middle of February. I think it's a little too soon. No, maybe they did it on New Year's Eve and now they're a month pregnant. No, they wouldn't. No, they then. wouldn't, no, no. We're, Figure it we're out, We're popping, guys. we're popping. Yeah, tell us in the comments, when does it mean <laughs> that they were impregnated? When were these people doing the dirty? In the bed. Do the math. Yeah. Like, let us know. Let us know. I feel like this has been the most awkward moments of the week episode we have ever possibly had. Leave it to me. Should I imitate birth? Oh, just, please, God, we no. Make it a little more We're awkward. End this video <laughs> me right now Any before moment. she does this. <laughs> Comment with your favorite moment of the week. Subscribe to our channel, and we will see you back here on Monday, Love guys. You guys. Bye. Mwah.